Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you. Um, so last summer I did a test with my heritage DNA. So I decided to do another test uh, with the results that I got from my heritage DNA, uh, the DNA data that they got for me, the raw data, I decided to put it in another website, which is called Gene Plaza, which I'm gonna show you later on, and I'm gonna put on the description box. And I also did a test with my, mm, um, not my, my DNA LAN, and I'm gonna put the name on the description box. So let's get to the story of this thing. So first I'm gonna show you the results in my heritage DNA, and then I'm gonna compare those results with uh, Gene Plaza and DNA LAN. Let's go. So I'm gonna share my screen. And let's see this results. Okay. So, <clears throat> so as you can see in my heritage DNA, I got Europe, South Europe, I got 37.6% and that's Iberian. Iberian is the peninsula of Spain, especially from the islands the canary islands and andalusia but i also got from east europe which is balti 4.3 percent and i'm gonna go to my dna land and gene plaza to see if i had that component i also got jewish which is 3.0 percent ashkenazi jewish and made sense because of the history of Spain and how there was a diaspora um, of Jewish people in Spain. Now, Africa, I got 32.7% from Africa and I got from West Africa, 27.3% and Nigeria, I got 17.9%. West African, which is like the countries close to Nigeria, I got 9.4%. Is Africa, which is Kenya here, I got 4.0%. And that results are going to appear also on DNA land. And I think they appear in another website that I use, which is, I think, my true ancestry. But I didn't want to show it here. I just want to make a separate video for that one because someone told me to use that website. Okay, so let's go to this part, North Africa. I was kind of wondering, I'm a little bit confused about North Africa, what part of North Africa I had ancestors. I got 1.4%. And last but not least, um, I got um, from America, Central America, Central and South America, I got 10.8%. And this is the area of Mex um, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, and all those countries that are in South America. I don't want to say all those countries because later on, I want to be more specific. And in Middle East, which is this area showing the map, Middle Eastern, I got 10.7%. And I'm going to do this a little bit fast because I already made a video about this. So if you want to go and check it out, you can go and do it. Um, and I got Asia. 0.9% is Asia, Eskimo Inuit. So basically, 
these results are are showing that all my ethnicities like I'm mixed. That's what I'm basically saying. But um, I'm not sure about that. So let's go to my Gene Plaza, which is a website where you had to pay like five dollars so, and three dollars and fifty cents if you want to like get one of the apps um it's not free you have to pay a little bit but it's okay i was like curious i'm curious about this so i want to show you so i use i want to show you the app that i use so i went to gym plaza and i use the <clears throat> k29 a mixture calculator and I also use Ancestry. But first I want to show you, let's, let me go to Ancestry first. Let's open this one. Let's see my Ancestry. Okay, so I'm going to show you the estimations of the general geographic regions where my ancestors, my ancestors live. All right. So let's check this out. <clears throat> so I got West Eurasian, 55.1%. Something says here that I'm ambiguous. Ambiguous mean that they don't really know. 2.8% um, ambiguous, that they don't really know where my ancestors came from. Uh, here I got North Slavic. 7.4%, which is the area of Belarusian in Belarus, Estonian in Estonia, Lithuanian, Lithuania, Mordovian, and Russian in Russia, and Ukrainian in East Ukraine. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Um, probably from my father's side, probably, but I'm not sure about this results, this 7.4%. So I got, I got also Southwestern South European, and this really shocked me, it really surprised me, just because of the fact that, just because of the fact that when I go to my heritage DNA, I got European, South European, like 32%, and it was from Spain, basically. But here is showing a different population. It says Basque, French, South, and one other size, site, France, and Spanish, and Iberia population in Spain. So it's saying basically 34.0%. So I'm not sure if it's from the country, France or Spain, not really sure. But let's talk about my uh, my identity. I consider myself Hispanic. So basically, I think it's from Spain. Mm -hmm. Now, I got here Northwest European, which is kind of a little bit fascinating. Um, it said Northwest European, 10.9%. It said um, Scottish, Scottish and British in England, Icelandic in Iceland, Norwegian in Norway, and this other island, uh, which I don't know where is the island. Um, well, it's in Northwest Europe, apparently. Now, Let's go to Africa. In Africa here is showing a little bit of a higher percent that in my heritage DNA. In my heritage DNA, it was 32%. Here is showing 34.1%. And it says it's African, which surprisingly is Kenya. So apparently one of my ancestors was in Kenya. And I got also North 
and they belong to the Bantu, I think, the Bantu tribe. So I got here in North Africa. Let's see. It says 3.1%, a little, a little bit higher than in my heritage DNA. It's showing Algerian, Algerian, and Mosby in Nigeria, and in Morocco, Western Sahara. Uh, this is North Africa, 3.1%. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, I think it's 3.1%. Now, let's go to West Africa. So West Africa, I already know that in my heritage DNA, you say that I do have like some Nigerian ancestors. So here it says um, Nigerian 24.2%, and it says Yoruba and Exen, and those are groups in Nigeria. Um, now, let's go ambiguous here in Africa. It says 1.2%, which they don't know where my ancestors came from. I'm pretty sure this is from probably my mother, side but it can also be from my father's side so um i also have 7.0 percent of native american and it's kind of weird because in my heritage dna it shows that i do have some ancestor in central america and south america and part of north america which is mexico and here is showing, um, it's showing less, I think. I think it's showing 7.0%. And the regions that show, it says Bolivian, uh, Bolivia, the country Bolivia. Then it says Colombia and also Mexico. So I'm pretty sure that I do have some ancestors in one of those countries because i always get confused now here it says ambiguous 3.8 percent i'm not sure about that but let's look at my dna land to see what they got what results they have <clears throat> okay i'm going to open my results Ancestry report. Um, uh, okay. So let's show this. Um, I'm pretty sure I can. I can see this map better with the color coding areas. So here. <clears throat> let's go to the breakdown to the percent of the breakdown. <clears throat> Okay, so it says West Eurasia, 59%, and it's showing South Europe, 23%, European, Central European, 21%, Barkan, which I'm going to figure out what is that later, is 1.8%. Northwest European, 14%, Finnish, 8.1%, which to be honest, like I'm not sure about that finish where it's coming from. Southwestern European is showing 8.1%, Arab, Egyptian, 5.6%. 5 5 Mediterranean Islander, 1%. Now let's go to African. So this one is similar to my heritage DNA because it's showing that I got 32%. African. Uh, West African is 25%. Lower Niger Valley, 20%. Aiken, I don't know what is this, is 4.6%. 4, 4. Oh my God, my English is terrible today. Um, so we got East African. That is 3.4%. And then I got ambiguous, and I'm pretty sure that 
is probably from Song Island. I got two points, two points, two point zero percent. Goodness, oh my God, let me, let me go to Southern African. It's 1.9%. And here I got a little bit more of Native American here. And this might be the ambiguous part because I, it says that I'm Native American by 7.5%. And they it says that 1% one, 1.2% 1 is from the Amazons, which is crazy. My ancestor went all over, all over the place. So let's see. So it says Finnish is 8.1%. Finnish in Finland. Now we see here Albanian, Barkan, okay. Thank you for getting me that clear. Barkin, South European, West Eurasian, we found 1.8% Barkin ancestry. Now here, Arab, Arab, Egyptian, Egyptian in two sites, Egypt, Palestinian, and the other one, which I don't know how to pronounce, in Yemen, I got 5.6%. Now, let's check here. Northwest European, 14% uh, includes Scottish, British in England, Icelandic in Iceland. And I'm not sure if my ancestors come from these places. I'm totally confused about this. Um, here, French, France, Southwestern Europe, West Eurasian, we found 8.1% Southwestern European ancestry, which is crazy. Um, here, England, England, Scottish, uh, 14 percent Northwest European ancestry. Let's check here. Iceland, Iceland, um, 14 percent Northwest European. Now let's check. Am I missing another country in Europe? Um, okay, I think I did this. Um, you say Toscani in Italy, we found 21% South Central European ancestry. And yeah, I think I did Europe, the entire, not the entire continent, but half of the continent. And let's go to Africa. Mm, here it says I'm 2% ambiguous. African? I don't know. Okay, Lower Niger Valley, we know that this is Nigeria and they found 20% of my ancestry come from Nigeria. Sierra Leone, they found 4.6% ancestry. Now, Central African Republic, uh, they say we found no specific ancestry, um, pick me ancestry, but we define 2% ambiguous African ancestry, which is weird. It's African. Um, this is probably from Kenya, since I saw the same results in my DNA heritage. And here we have found Namibia, North in Namibia, Southern Africa, we found 1.9 Southern African ancestry. Now, let's go to my favorite, North America. Let's, let's click on my country to see. Um, let me see if I can click there. 
Okay. Native American is a 7.5%. And they found that in, that includes Bolivian. Um, they include Bolivia, they include Colombia, and they also include Mexico. They found 7.5% of Native American. Now let's see. And they found also 1.2% of Amazonian that is from Brazil. Okay, cool. So this is basically all that I got for you guys. I hope that you like my video, um, that you enjoy it. I don't know. And if you have any comments, any misconception that I have, just leave it at the comment section, okay? Thank you.